Um, and then the Iggy thing at the end of this record was I was doing, I did some shows with Iggy and played on his record, you know, wrote yeah, some songs that, even. That ending, ending is, the ending is the best. I'm actually, I am, when I was listening to it, I was imagining, and I'm hoping it was Iggy in the vocal booth without a shirt. Does he even own a shirt, by the way? I, he, he does own shirts, yes. He does he own does shirts. Indeed, oh, okay. Yes. No, but um, that, it was a great, great ending. Tell, tell me how well, about that. So he did those from his house in, in Miami. So we got like three different cadences of the same thing. And, and, and it, here I'm in my studio in Seattle with Martin and we get to them, we're like, oh my God, what did he send us? And it's just this booming voice. And it's just Martin and I, we're like, fuck. It's the voice of God, it's Iggy, you know? Yeah. So we were really, the, the music we put around that it is Lighthouse. It is the song Lighthouse, but it's, we treated it completely differently. And um, it was really <laughs> super special to have that. For me, especially oh. if you knew, if you know me well, that's like the biggest thing that can happen. Yeah, man. And, and playing with them and uh, touring with them. And yeah. How, in terms of, you know, you're, you're a prolific songwriter. Iggy has written some unreal songs in his lifetime. And Oh. With you now playing those songs, did that give you a different perspective on how he writes and how that might influence your writing? Yeah, I, you know, I've heard you, you're right. When you play with somebody, it might be songs that you that are part of you, but when you want to learn those songs as good as or better than they are in the records, you start to listen to them critically. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that part went nine times, not eight, not ten but nine times, but there's a reason, you know, you start picking those things up. Um, and he was, he's a master at taking a single riff, you know, the passenger is one riff through the whole thing and writing, you know, verses and courses around that and, and still moves so many. I'm afraid if I were to do something like that, it would, there wouldn't be the movement. He's got such a character in his voice and power. Um, and he can sing la, 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 and keep you like, that's the best chorus I've ever heard. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if I did that, Duff ran out of lyrics. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid that might happen. Yeah. So uh, there's just a, di it's, yeah. it's delivery. But I sure do learn a lot when I play other people's songs for, for real. Yeah. 